magnifying glass ever wondered about the unspoken messages behind Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle's fashion choices? Dress speech balloon dive into the intriguing world of royal style connections, each gown, each accessory, a piece of a complex puzzle. What do their outfits reveal about the secrets within the palace walls? Castle stay with us till the end as we decode the silent conversations in royal closets. Subscribe now and become a fashion detective in the dazzling realm of royalty. As public figures, Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle are subject to intense scrutiny, and their every move, including fashion choices, is closely observed by the public and media. These eagle-eyed observations often extend beyond aesthetics to interpretations about their roles within the royal family, their relationships, and their broader influence. Kate Middleton, known for her classic and elegant style, has been observed as a symbol of continuity within the monarchy. Her fashion choices are often analyzed for adherence to royal protocols, and she's seen as a representative of traditional values. Meghan Markle, on the other hand, brought a more contemporary and diverse flair to the royal wardrobe. Her fashion statements have been viewed as breaking away from traditional norms, reflecting her individuality and modern approach. The eagle-eyed observers often draw comparisons between the two, highlighting differences in style, approach, and the impact each has on the royal family's image. The media's focus on their fashion choices extends to narratives about their roles as public figures, potential tensions between them, and the broader shifts within the monarchy. While both women undoubtedly navigate this scrutiny with grace, it also underscores the challenges and expectations that come with being in the public eye, especially within the context of a centuries-old institution like the British royal family. Kate Middleton's choice of the Safiya gown at the 2023 Royal Variety performance echoes Meghan Markle's 2018 style, creating a visual link that transcends mere fashion. The vibrant blue hue and the distinctive design elements, including a diamond-adorned neckline and dramatic puffed long sleeves with slits, draw a parallel to Meghan's previous Safiya caped gown worn during a 2018 state dinner in Suva, Fiji. Meghan's gown from 2018, donned while she was pregnant with Archie Harrison, featured a similar caped silhouette, creating a sense of continuity in the Safiya aesthetic across both royal women. The black and white sequin Safiya ensemble Meghan wore to the royal variety performance that year further solidifies the connection. Beyond the visual similarities, these fashion choices become symbolic within the broader context of the reported tensions explored in Omid Scobie's Endgame. Kate's subtle homage to Meghan's style can be interpreted as a nuanced gesture, possibly signaling unity or, conversely, reflecting the complexity of their relationship. Fashion, in this instance, serves as a form of expression that transcends its aesthetic appeal, offering a lens into the intricate tapestry of royal dynamics. The shared designer choice becomes a conversation piece, prompting speculation and adding layers to the ongoing narrative surrounding the relationships within the British royal family. Omid Scobie's book, Endgame, delves into the alleged dynamics between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, providing insights that hint at underlying tensions within their relationship. According to a source in the book, who had previously worked for Kate, there's a suggestion that Kate was not a significant fan of Meghan. This revelation adds a personal dimension to the reported friction, potentially fueled by differences in personality, background, or expectations within the royal family. Additionally, another insider, familiar with the British royal family, is cited in the book expressing that Kate no longer trusts Harry and Meghan, especially in the aftermath of their candid interviews. The book doesn't specify the content or context of these interviews, leaving room for speculation on how these public revelations may have impacted the relationship dynamics among the royal family members. The nuances of their relationship, as hinted at in Endgame, add complexity to the public perception of the seemingly glamorous lives of the royals. The intertwining of personal and public aspects within the monarchy contributes to an ongoing narrative that goes beyond the surface of royal engagements and fashion choices, inviting readers and the public to contemplate the intricate dynamics within the royal family. While Omid Scobie's Endgame doesn't explicitly state jealousy between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle, it does allude to potential tension and strained dynamics. The book mentions a source who worked for Kate, suggesting that Kate was not a significant fan of Meghan. 
Though not explicitly labeled as jealousy, this sentiment may hint at feelings of competition or discomfort within the royal family. Jealousy in a royal context can manifest in various ways, from perceived differences in public attention to concerns about popularity and influence. Given the intense scrutiny that comes with royal life, any hint of competition between members of the family can be magnified in the public eye. It's essential to approach such claims with caution, as the inner workings of the royal family are often subject to speculation and interpretation. The dynamics between Kate and Meghan, whether rooted in genuine differences or exaggerated by external factors, contribute to the ongoing narrative surrounding the royal family, adding layers of complexity to their public personas. There is no definitive evidence of a deliberate, fashion war, between Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle. While both women have distinct styles and preferences, attributing their fashion choices solely to competition may oversimplify their motivations. Individuals in the public eye, especially members of the royal family, are often scrutinized for their fashion choices, and comparisons are inevitable. However, these comparisons may not necessarily indicate a direct competition or desire to prove superiority. Kate and Meghan have their unique fashion sensibilities, influenced by personal taste, royal protocols, and the designers they choose to collaborate with. Any perceived similarities or differences in their fashion choices might be the result of individual preferences, seasonal trends, or the influence of their respective roles within the royal family. It's crucial to approach discussions about their fashion with nuance and avoid framing it solely as a competitive endeavor. Both women have used their public platforms to champion various causes, and their fashion choices often reflect the occasions and causes they are supporting. As we wrap up our exploration of Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle's fashion dynamics, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated on all things royal. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you see their fashion choices as a silent conversation or a glimpse into the complexities of royal life? For more intriguing insights and royal updates, keep tuning in. Until next time, thanks for watching, and remember to stay royally informed.